applying special right triangles. Objective, find the side lengths of special right triangles. Spo use special right triangles to solve real life problems such as finding the side length of the triangles. Side length of special right triangles. Right triangles whose angle measures are 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree, or 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree are called special right triangles. The theorems that describes these relationships of side lengths of each of these special right triangles follows in the next slides. In 45, 45, 90 degree triangle theorem, the hypotenuse, which is the longest side, or the side which is across the 90 degree angle is square root 2 or radical 2 times as long as each leg. In this triangle over here, this is a 90 degree angle and this side will be yours hypotenuse. This will be your hypotenuse. This is a 90 degree angle over here. This side is hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is equal to radical 2 times leg. As you can see, this is an isosceles triangle because this angle is 45 degree, this angle is 45 degree. So in any triangle, if the opposite angles are equal, then the opposite sides to those angles are also equal. So for 45, 45, 90 triangle theorem, our formula is hypotenuse is equal to radical 2 times leg. Find the value of x. As we look at the question over here, question tells us, this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. How we came to know? Uh, this angle over here, this angle is 90 degree, and this is your 145 degree. So the third angle will be what? 45 degree. Remember, in a triangle, the sum of the three angles is equal to what? 180 degree. Okay. Now, since these are 45, 45, you can see the opposite sides are what? They are equal. And the side which is across to this, that will be known as what? Hypotenuse. Now, our formula for 45, 45, 90 triangle is this. Hypotenuse is equal to radical 2 times leg. We can also write as side. So, what I will do is I will substitute the values over here. From the triangle, hypotenuse is x is equal to radical 2. And leg means I can either take this one or I can take this. So this is my 3 over here. So the value of x is what? 3 radical 2. This is my answer. Okay. Or I can say hypotenuse in this triangle is what? x is equal to 3 radical 2. So this is my answer for this question. Uh, next question is uh, in this, there is nothing given over here. Only we have been given this angle. So this is our 90 degree angle. Based on this 90 degree angle, if I will draw an arrow, this side will, will be known as my hypotenuse. So let's label this as hypotenuse. Now, as you can see, we have not been given any angle, but we have been given 7 over here and a, and a bar over here and this one same. So it is telling us that this side is also 7. Now, you can easily figure out if, if in any triangle, two opposite sides are equal. This is an isosceles triangle. And this means the opposite sides will also be equal. So this will be an example of 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. So first of all, what I will do is I will write my formula. Hypotenuse is equal to radical 2 times side or leg. Now we will substitute the value from the triangle. So hypotenuse is x is equal to radical 2 and the leg is 7. So this is giving me the answer x is equal to 7 radical 2. Or I can also use my calculator over here to change in decimal. Okay, so this is my 7 over here. That's a radical sign and 2. And it gave me the answer. And I will press this button over here. This gave me the answer 9.89. So my value of hypotenuse is what? Hypotenuse is x is equal to 9.89. This is my answer for this question. Find the value of x. Now in this question, I do not know anything. Only thing I can see is this is your 90 degree angle. So based on this information, this will be my hypotenuse in the triangle. Now, as you can see, these two sides over here, they are same x. So this is a case of 
45, 45, 90 degree triangle. So I will write my formula in 45, 45, 90 degree. The formula is this. Hypotenuse is equal to radical two times left. Always make sure you write the formula. This makes the concept very easy for us. Okay, now let's substitute the values. From the diagram over here, hypotenuse is 5 as you can see. So this is 5 is equal to radical 2 times leg. Leg is x and both of them are x. So after this step, what I can do is I have to solve this. So I will divide both the sides by what? Radical 2 and radical 2 over here. So this will be cancelled out. And my next step will be uh, x is equal to 5 over radical 2. Now since you see radical 2 in the denominator, we have to rationalize the denominator. So you need to multiply and divide by radical 2. So after this, we will. So what happens is your new answer will be 5 radical 2. But when you multiply radical 2 by radical 2, it will give you 2. So this is your answer for this question. Now you can also have the answer in decimal. So what happens is I can type the same thing in calculator also. Uh, some, now if you are using a scientific calculator, instead of typing all those i can just type this value over here 5 divided by radical 2 it will give me the answer in decimal over here only see look i type this over here it gave me this answer so i don't have to do this over here and I, when i press this button it gives me the answer 3.53 so my answer is x is equal to 3.53 and both of them are valid answers over here either i can take the first answer or i can take the second answer now let's look at this question over here. Based on the information in the triangle, this will be my 90 degree angle. According to this, this will be my hypotenuse. Make sure you label your triangle. Now as I can see, this is my 10 radical 2 and I can see they have drawn like a small bar over here or a line over here. So this is telling me that this side is also equal. That will be 10 radical 2. So I will use my formula in now this is your 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. 45, 45, 90 degree. In a 45, 45, 90 degree, the formula is this. As I am repeating again and again, you have to write the formula. Hypotenuse is equal to radical 2, radical 2 times left. So after this, what happens is I will substitute the values. This is your x is equal to radical 2 times 10 times radical 2. Now at this place, what you can do is you can use your calculator also. So let's go ahead and use our calculator if you are finding difficulty in working out with radicals. So this is your radical 2 times. I have to delete this. I have to come out of this radical part. Parentheses uh, 10 times radical 2. Now, whenever you are typing this in your calculator, make sure you come out of the radical part. And this is the answer 20. So the value over here, hypotenuse is what? Hypotenuse is 20. So I'll write it over here. Hypotenuse in this case is what? Comma x is equal to 20. And that's my answer for this question. Uh, let's try solving this question over here. In this case, again, this is a 90 degree over here. Now keep in mind, this is your hypotenuse. Okay, because the side which is opposite to 90 degree is your hypotenuse. Now next step is as you all know because this sign over this line over here this says x this is telling us that both the sides are equal. Since our opposite sides are equal our theorem states that if, if in any triangle two opposite sides are equal then the two opposite angles will be equal. So then so we will have 45, 45, 90 degree and this means what? It will be equal to 180 degree. Let's write the formula. Our formula is what? hypotenuse is equal to radical 2 times left let's let's uh, write the value 16 that's the value of hypotenuse over here as you can see radical 2 times x now after this what we can do over here is it looks like an equation so i can divide both the sides by radical 2 divide both the sides by radical 2 this will be cancelled out and my value of x will be what 16 over radical 2 now, as I've shown you in the previous question, uh, whenever you have a radical sign in the denominator, you have to rationalize the denominator. Or you can also type this in your calculator. So the value of x will be 16 radical 2 divided by when you multiply these two, it will be yours 2. 
So x will be equal to 8 radical 2. How I got 8? Because I can divide this 16 by 2 and I will get 8 radical 2. Or you can get the answer of x in decimal also. Okay. So let's use our calculator for this. Now do keep in mind you if you do not want to do all this, you can use a fraction button over here 16 and divided by radical 2. It automatically gives us the correct answer over here. It's the same answer in decimal. See, I have 8 radical 2, you have 8 radical 2. And this one is 11.31. So we can save some 11.31. So this is the answer for this question. Okay, let's try to look at this word problem number 19. Find the perimeter of a square with a diagonal of length 12. 12. Now, first of all, the word perimeter means what? Sum of all four sides. Sum of all four sides. Okay. So step number one, what I will do is I will draw a square over here. Okay, my figure does not look like an actual square, but we will pretend it's a square. Along with this, what it tells you is in a square, what this is the property of square, all side there, 90 degree angles at the corners. Okay, this is 90 degree over here. Now the question says with a diagonal of 12, diagonal means they are talking about this is a, this is a side, this is a diagonal over here. When you are making a diagonal, what happens is it bisects a 90 degree angle and makes like 245 over here. 45, 45 over here. Now, as you know from the prior knowledge, this is 90 degree over here. Because of this 90 degree, what this will be? This will be known as your hypotenuse. And they have given the length of the diagonal is what? 12. So hypotenuse is 12 over here. Now, if I will try to make the same triangle over here, look at what I did is. I cut this part over here and it looks like this to me. Okay, so this is my hypotenuse, which is my 12. And please do keep in mind, these two sides will be equal. Because this is a square. In a square, what happens is, all sides are equal. So let me take this as x. So this will be what? This will be x. So this is a, this is a 45, 45, 90 degree case. 45, 45, 90 degree. So I'll write the formula hypotenuse is equal to what radical 2 times length so let's substitute the values in this hypotenuse is 12 and this is your radical 2 times x okay now do keep in mind we have to find what perimeter so perimeter is what sum of all sides or you can also write like this 4 times side okay that's also one of the formula so it will be 4 times x whatever is my value of x i will substitute over here so this what after this I will do is I will divide by radical 2 as I have been doing in the previous problems over here. This gets cancelled out and x is equal. Now this time I instead of rationalizing the denominator, I will straight away use my calculator. So this is my 12 divided by what radical 2. It gave me the answer 6 radical 2 or it gave me the answer 8.48. So let's take uh, six, uh, 6 radical 2 as my answer. So the value of x is 6 radical 2. Now what I will do after this is I will take this value of x and I will substitute where? Over here. So it will be 4 times 6 radical 2. That gave me 24 radical 2. And I can also change this word. I can also change this in uh, decimal also. So we can do this over here. Uh, 24 times I don't have to put the uh, time symbol, but still I did over here. So that's my answer. And as you all know, we'll press this button over here. 33.94 is the answer. Or 34 also you can write it. 33.94, that's your answer. Now, since they have not given us any units, I'll just write over here units. That's my answer for this question.